New Pre-Intermediate Market Leader Coursebook by David Cotton, David Falvey, and Simon Kent with John Rogers, published by Pearson Longman. CD One. Unit Four. Great Ideas. Recording Four Point One. Great ideas are generated in different ways. Sometimes an idea may simply be when a company takes advantage of an opportunity to extend its range, to offer more choice to existing customers, or a great idea could allow a company to enter a market which was closed to it before. Companies which are prepared to spend a lot on R and D may make a breakthrough by having an original idea for a product which others later copy. For example, Sony and the Walkman. On the other hand, some products are developed in response to customer research. They come from customer ideas. These products are made to meet a need, to satisfy consumer demand. Or the product does something similar to another product, but faster, so it saves time. Some people will buy new products because the product raises their status. It gives them a new, more upmarket image. Other people will buy any green product, which reduces waste or protects the environment, even if it is more expensive. If an idea is really good and the product fills a gap in the market, it may even win an award for innovation. Recording four point two. The innovation works at Reading was developed specifically to help the university to interact with business, and it's a special sort of space, a different sort of environment, where businesses can come and develop new product ideas or use creativity techniques to solve problems or to do business development. Or team building, and it looks very different from a normal office or the sort of sort of、uh, facility you would find in a hotel. You can write on all the walls; they're all whiteboard.、Um, we use some creative brainstorming software, which is interactive and anonymous, so that it means that everybody's voice is as loud as everybody else's. When you're doing a brainstorming session, we use a lot of different techniques to get people to think hard about the things that they're doing or that they want to understand more about. So we do quite a lot of making people think differently and look at problems from different directions. Recording four point three. What is one of the greatest new business ideas, in your opinion? I think there are two types of innovation. The first type of innovation is where somebody has a wonderful idea that is apparently out of the blue. I think this happens very rarely. The second sort of innovation is where somebody takes an idea and moves it into a completely new space. I think eBay is particularly effective because it took the idea of auctions, buying and selling things that people could do in their own location, and it made it accessible to anybody with access to the internet. It also addressed an unfulfilled need, so something people wanted to do but had no way of doing in the past. And that was to get rid of all the things that they really didn't need to use anymore, and to make money at doing it as well. Recording four point four. Right, can we start, please?、Uh, the main aim of the meeting is to decide the date of the launch. After that, we'll talk about our marketing strategy and decide which sales outlets we should target. Okay, when are we going to launch the goggles, Katerina? What do you think? 
Should it be early next year or should we wait until the summer? I'm in favor of February or March. Mm -hmm. There's a gap in the market for our products. Why wait any longer? The goggles are technically advanced. Let's just cash in on that. Thanks, Katerina. Okay, let's hear a few more views. Um, Kenneth, what's your opinion? Hmm, I don't know about February. It's a bit early in the year. I suggest we launch in May or June. People go on holiday then. It's a peak period for buying goggles. Thanks, Kenneth. Nadia, what's your view? You're a keen swimmer, I know. In my opinion, February is the best time. Uh, we could promote them in swimming pools and opticians. The price should be high. I'd say at least £50. Pounds. Hold on a minute. I thought we were talking about the launch date, not about promotion or price. <laughs> You're right, Katerina. Let's get back to the point. OK, everyone. I think, on balance, we agree we prefer the earlier date. Let's move on now to marketing. Julia, which outlets do you think we should target? I think we should start with the specialist stores. Mm -hmm. That's where most swimmers buy their goggles. What do you mean by specialist stores, Julia? Mm. Are you thinking of sports goods outlets? You know, stores which only sell sports equipment? Exactly. They should be our main target. Recording 4.5 now, I'd like to move on to our most successful product, Protean. As I'm sure you know, our new fabric was named after Proteus, the Greek sea god, who was able to take on different roles and shapes. Indeed, Protean can be used for a wide variety of products because it is extremely flexible. Let me give you some basic information about Protean's three main features. Firstly, it is made from fibres that are similar to nylon and polyester. These fibres are coated with a metallic substance so that the fabric can conduct electricity. In addition, the fabric can be made very thick or very thin. So thin, in fact, as to become translucent to let some light pass through. Secondly, as you can experience for yourselves from the samples that are going round, not only is it very soft to the touch, but it's also strong and long-lasting. Finally, it can be made in absolutely any colour. To conclude my presentation, I'd like to tell you about our future plans. We at Fabtech believe that Protean has enormous sales potential. We are currently trying to increase sales by licensing other manufacturers to produce interesting new products with Protean. We already have a licensing agreement with Azra, a Swiss firm, which has created some award-winning products using Protean. You can find the details of some of those products in the leaflet in your folder.